Help! My contacts are missing. Hello and welcome to iPhone Black and White Troubleshooting, where we try to figure out what's going wrong with your device and get you fixed up as quickly as possible. Today's video, we're going to cover missing contacts, and this is something that most people live in fear of. It turns out it depends on which sort of category you find yourself in, and that will dictate how you get your contacts back. So I'm basically going to cover those three categories today, and the one that most people are going to be in is going to be in the third category, but the reason I'm going to cover that one third is because the first one has a simple solution to it, and hopefully that would be something that you will find yourself in if that's the case. The second one is more or less a word of warning. It actually has the same solution as number one, but there's a better chance that the contacts are completely gone, so I want to make sure I give that word of warning because there's something that you should never do under any circumstances and that's what I'm gonna cover in number two and then number three is really kind of the nitty-gritty where I give an in-depth explanation of what's gone wrong and then what you need to do to fix it so with that being said let's jump into it okay so to start all this off I thought about giving an overview of contacts I'm not gonna do that for simplicity sake because I'm assuming most people know how contacts work suffice it to say one thing and this is some people realize this some people don't and this is really important for you to understand about how contacts actually does work. And I want to set this immediately. You've got to remember something. Your contacts app that you've got on your phone where you find all of your contacts, basically from the most part, those contacts are not actually on your device. I know that sounds crazy. Some of you are scratching your head. Other people are like, yeah, of course. But basically, your contacts are being stored somewhere else. And it depends on where it's being stored. And so that usually ends up being kind of the main reason behind why all of a sudden your contacts are missing. And it's it could be something very simple of like, hey, we just got to reform that connection between the app and wherever those contacts are coming from. And that is what we're really going to focus on in the sort of the third category. But I want to go ahead and cover the first possibility of why your contacts are missing. And this is the easiest way to get it fixed is it's very simple. You, by mistake, have deleted them. So if you're somebody who has deleted your contacts by mistake, the solution should hopefully be very easy. And I'm just going to show you the article and the steps that you would follow in order to do this. And this is applicable to everybody because there's always a chance you might actually be a person in this situation. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the article. So the article that we're just using is from the iCloud user guide and it's restoring contacts that are stored in iCloud on iCloud.com. Don't worry about the iCloud.com, it just basically means the iCloud. But, and I'm not gonna go through all these steps, but I'm gonna link the article, but you can actually see how easy this actually is. Because all it's telling you to do is to go to the website, iCloud.com, click on your account settings, right there and then just click restore contacts. I really hope <laughs> that this is you if you're watching this, that this is you and that's all that you need to do. Because what it's basically telling you is like, hey, did you delete your contacts by mistake? It's okay. Go to the website, follow these instructions right here and you can restore your contacts from an earlier version and hopefully that's the end of it and you're done watching the video. However, it's not going to be most people, but see if this works for you. If it does, awesome. If it doesn't, then let's go ahead and move ahead. Okay, so what's scenario number two? Well, scenario number two is the one that I was trying to give you a warning on. Okay, this is you. Stop. Stop now, don't ever do this, and if you've never done this, good lord in heaven, don't start. So, why might your contacts be missing? Because you may have made the worst decision ever, and that is you've shared your Apple ID. This is the most common thing when it comes to parents, and they buy their kids an iPhone, and then they say, well, I don't want my kid to have their own Apple ID. I want to make sure that I'm up on, you know, what they're doing. You fool. 
What you've just done is you've given your kid free reign over all of your information. So guess what the kid's going to do? He's not tech savvy, he has no idea what he's doing. And so now he's like, well, I don't want all these contacts on my phone. I don't know who Mr. Jenkins is, so I'm gonna delete them. Well, guess what? If you aren't aware that your contacts have been deleted or have been deleted over time, well, then you can't go back and do what we just covered with option one. You can't restore from an earlier date because the earliest date possible that you might be able to get to may not have those contacts because this may have gone on for weeks. And if you kept making backups of your phone, like you're leaving your phone plugged in at night and it's just making a backup every single night and your kid's doing the same thing, well, guess what? Contacts are gone and they're not coming back. And that's the thing that people just don't seem to realize when they especially buy an iPhone or any kind of Apple device for their family. Good Lord Almighty, do not share your Apple ID. This is the worst possible decision that you could have ever made in regards to owning an Apple product. The worst decision. And yes, I'm on my soapbox, but you've got to understand this is just like the tip of the iceberg if your contacts are missing. Because if you do this horrible decision, then all of a sudden you could end up missing contacts, photos, calendars, remind, I mean, anything that is stored in the iCloud could just suddenly be gone. And it's because somebody else who has no idea what they're doing has deleted everything. Okay, so third scenario, and this is most people, the good news is your contacts most likely are not missing. They're simply sitting in another account not a different apple id but what your contacts actually are doing are sitting in an email account that either you just recently deleted or maybe you had to erase your phone and set it up again and you couldn't restore from a backup or maybe you're somebody who just you know for whatever reason there's some kind of issue that's going on between like the gmail server and your phone or the yahoo server and your phone you know who knows what the possibilities are so if you can think back and realize look at well wait a minute you know i just had this other email account on my phone and it's not there right now all you probably need to do to get all your contacts back is just add that email account back in However, if you're somebody who says, well, wait a minute, I can't get into that email account, then there's really not anything that you're gonna be able to do. If, those, if that is where your contacts are, and they're in this other account, and you can't get into that account, then there's nothing you can do because you weren't saving these in the first place to the iCloud. So how do you know? How do you even know if you've got a different email account attached to your device that allows for contacts to be saved to? Well, it's actually really simple. And so we can take just a quick look to see what it is I'm talking about. First thing I'm just gonna reference here, again, is from the iCloud user guide. And this is talking about create and manage groups. Now, the whole reason I'm listing this here is for, I'm just gonna list it you know, in the video. If you wanna click on this, you can because you can create groups. You don't have to just create a group the way I'm about to show you. You can actually be the one who creates a group, but this is not the typical way it's done. In fact, most people don't even know that they have the ability to do this. So when I talk about groups, we're not talking about one that you've made. We're talking about one that was automatically created. So what would that look like? So if you're on your iPhone, right? So let's say that you're on your phone and you go in and you follow the, the steps right here. Set up and uh, set up your contacts account, okay? So if you go to settings, contacts, accounts, tap add account, and then all of a sudden you have the option to create, like, oh, okay, you know, where do you want these contacts coming from? Okay, you, you can put in your Yahoo account, your Google account. You know, most people use Gmail. Since most people use Gmail, Maybe they aren't realizing you haven't realized that when you bring over your Gmail It's also giving you the ability to you know bring over contacts So that is where there's a good chance your contacts actually are going to so if we go over here And I found this image online So pretend that we're just looking at the phone and someone has clicked first here and they've clicked on their contacts Or they've clicked on phone and then clicked on contacts right here 
you see the word groups and now it's nice and big and highlighted here groups if you see the word groups you immediately know one of two things number one either you created the group like I was talking about over here most likely you you did not do this it more likely what you've done if you see the word groups here what this is simply telling you is hey you have more than one account you've got more than just the iCloud you also have the ability to actually save your contacts or import your contacts from Gmail or Yahoo or you know any of any one of these possibilities here so that's kind of the key word to look for if you see the word groups then you know hey I've added in another um, account and maybe that's where my contacts are if you don't see the word groups then that's kind of giveaway as well because okay well if your contacts are just suddenly missing and then you go into your contacts and you don't see the word groups here well guess what there's a really good possibility that basically your contacts are missing simply because you haven't actually gone back and added in whatever account that you need to add them in from again i'll reference gmail because that's typically what most people do so does is this starting to make sense because there's a really really good strong possibility that your contacts are just fine your contacts are simply located in a different account rather than the icloud okay so i'm hoping that this is starting to make sense so now you might just be saying like okay well great you know what do i need to do how do i put them back in Following the same article, it, it just shows you the steps right here. So if we first go in and we follow these steps right here, like, hey, just follow these steps right here, add your email account back into your phone, then right here, it even tells you, it's like, hey, it gives you the option, like, hey, turn contacts on or off for an account. Like, hey, just because you're bringing over your Gmail account, when you do that, it it actually gives you the option whether or not you want to bring over your contacts. So maybe your Gmail actually is already on your phone. Maybe this got turned off by mistake. So again, no big deal. Just follow the, the instructions here. Go to settings, click on contacts, click on accounts, and then tap the account that has the contacts you want to add or remove. So if you're missing contacts, obviously you would just want to turn this on. So then this comes down to kind of the main thing that most people end up struggling with. They they're might be saying to themselves, well, wait a minute. You know, I, I've been saving, you know, contacts to the iCloud for years. Well, maybe you haven't. Maybe what you've actually done is simply forgotten that at some point when you got your brand new iPhone and you started setting everything up, you didn't really understand everything that you were doing and you've made this mistake and that is you've chosen a different default account where your contacts were going so this is something I've seen happen countless times with people in the past and that's basically they end up fooling around with their phone they get to this screen and we're still basically under settings contacts and like it's saying here if you set up multiple accounts in the contacts app, you can choose a default account to add new contacts to. Just go to settings, contacts, default account, and choose the account you want. So all of this and all of your frustration could actually simply be because years ago when you started setting everything up, you were messing around with your phone and you just didn't realize that what you had done is you set up your email account as your default account for when you make a brand new contact so that when you've been meeting people or you've been adding people into your device you didn't even realize that what you were doing is you were saving that brand new contact and you were saving it to this other account that you had set up as your default account like to Gmail if that's the case, then at least we know where your contacts are, you can get them back. However, I would encourage anyone who's seeing this right now, double check your phone, make your life simple, make sure that your default account is actually set to the iCloud because that will fix any number of issues that you have 
when you start missing contacts. Alrighty guys, I tried to make this short, sweet, but still with enough information that you can understand everything that is going on. So, good luck. I really hope you get your contacts back. I hope you're not in category number two. But anyway, if you found this to be helpful, hey, don't forget, hit like, hit subscribe, come on back, learn how to become an iPhone expert. Don't forget, send this video to your friends and family so I can turn them into experts as well. Alrighty guys, I will see you next time. See ya. Survive.